Good morning. Today's my, well, would be my mother's birthday if she was still alive. I guess it's still her birthday. She almost made 88. She died probably six weeks before her 88th birthday. Pretty darn close. Pretty good long life. Now, I'm back to reading the book of Judges. I love this area of the Bible, by the way. It's my favorite. Why do I love the Judges? Uh, because they basically speak to our existence today. The truth that you and I live right now. And so I'm going to read from just a little bit of this and comment about it. An angel of Yahweh came to Gil, came up from Gilgal to Bachem and said, I made you go up out of Egypt and have brought you to the land which I swore to your fathers. And I said, I will never break my covenant with you. It's the first verse of Judges 2. It's nice that he's not going to break his covenant with us, but my God, are we pushing the limits. Verse 2 of chapter 2, Judges. And you shall make no league with the inhabitants of this land. You shall throw down their altars, but you have not obeyed my voice. Why have you done this? Now, in case you're wondering, Yahweh had spent four centuries working with these local inhabitants trying to correct them. And their main thing was the gods that they worshipped required blood sacrifice of the children. And the Israelites picked up the bad habits of the locals. That's basically what happened. They served Balaam. There arose another generation of the, after them which knew not Yahweh. This is after Joshua. Well, had passed nor yet the works which he, had, which he had done for Israel. And the children of Israel did evil in the sight of Yahweh and served Balaam. And they forsook Yahweh, God of their fathers, followed other gods, of the gods of the people around about them. Now, we talked about a fivefold witness before, and that was in reference to the fact that you and I as Caucasians, named after the crossing of the Caucasus mountain range in approximately, oh, probably just before 650 B.C., somewhere around that time. And so you, we aren't allowed to call ourselves Caucasians in our state governments today. These incorporated systems that pretend to be governments, which are not organic governments, by the way, they're all incorporated under the big Papa Corporation, Il Papa the Pope in Rome, everything is owned by him according to him. And if you look at that papal crown, you'll see three levels to it, three tiers, each one of them representing a fraud they perpetrated upon the earth and their thefts. Yes, it is the Antichrist system. Don't get me wrong, there's a lot of really good people that are under that system and trapped by it. Yeah, I know. And they're devout Catholics and they won't come out of her. And they won't figure things out. They don't read the Bible. So, nevertheless, Judges 2, chapter, verse 16. Nevertheless, Yahweh raised up ju judges, which delivered them out of the hand that spoiled them. And yet they would not listen to their judges, but they went a whoring after other gods and bowed themselves to them. They turned quickly out of the way which their fathers walked in, obey, obeying the commandments of Yahweh. That's what their fathers did, but they did not so. And when Yahweh raised up judge, judges, then Yahweh was with the judge and delivered them out of the hands of their enemies all the days of the judge. For it repented Yahweh because of their groanings by reason of them that oppressed them and vexed them. And it came to pass when the judge was dead that they returned and corrupted themselves more than their fathers. And following other gods to serve them and to bow down to them, they ceased not from their own doings, not from their stubborn way. 
And a result of this, Yahweh's anger turned against Israel, and he was not going to drive the people of the land out before them like they had, like he had done when Joshua was alive. So he was using the people of the land, the children of the evil one, by the way, that I may prove Israel whether they will keep the way of Yahweh to walk therein as their fathers did it or not. And so those nations that Joshua failed to drive out were dealing with them today. Those are the bad guys around the planet. I remember when this was dawned on me and I realized, oh hell, those are the guys we're dealing with today. We're dealing with their descendants, of course, not with the originals back then. It's just like the people of 1929 that crashed the stock market with their criminality, including Joseph Kennedy of the Kennedy clan, they were all criminals, crooks. They perpetuated, perpetuated frauds on a grand scale. However, the last takedown in 2008, 2009, there was even more lawlessness, more fraud, more deception. And in case you're wondering, they haven't changed anything. It's all set up now for even greater takedown. And that's what Nathan, I think his name was Nathan Rothschild, Papa Rothschild told his sons on his deathbed, remember, remember, the Gentiles get nothing. Who are the Gentiles? The Gentiles are the Israelites in dispersion. Yes, that's another fraud that's been perpetuated. What is a Latin word? Gentile, Gentilius, from the Roman Latin word? which meant non-Roman citizen. What is that doing in the Bible? And why are we separated according to Jews versus Gentiles? Nice dichotomy, huh? Does it make sense to you? And we have the tribes detailed here. Very important. Very important. The actual number of them was six, in case you're wondering. The last listed were the Jebusites. Those had the, uh, well, the hill that David took. It was almost impenetrable. And that hill was where the temple was built. And the Romans were so ticked off with the Jews of Israel, I'll call them that, that sometime after 70 AD, they took the whole hill down. They excavated the whole friggin' mountain. In other words, if you wanted to rebuild the temple in Jerusalem today on its original place, you can't do it. The hill doesn't exist. In case you're wondering where I got that from, it's a book called The Temples That Jerusalem Forgot. And at one point it was selling for $400 a copy. Now you can still get it from the author's widow. I, I think she's still alive. And that, her name was Ramona. I used to call her, but she was so old-fashioned that she got kind of upset that I called her every year to check on her. I mean, she was so innocent and so precious that one time she confessed to me how she had cussed. <laughs> Cussing was to her when she had uttered, blurted with emo emotionally out of her mouth, oh my gosh. Yeah, that was cussing to her. She was so precious and so innocent. Ramona last resided in Oregon. I've got her number on my phone. I should give her a call to see how she is. I think the last time I talked with her, she was 88 or something, and that was probably six years ago. And her husband was a wonderful scholar, Ernst Martin, M-A-R-T-I-N, Ernst, E-R-N-S-T. And you can still buy the books. They're not cheap. They're, they were $30 a piece last time I bought one. But they're print on demand. And so you're paying for the price of having a book published, basically printed up just for you. They're well done. They're good books. Um, I've got a couple of his books I have not read that are on the shelf in storage. I wish I had more room so I could have those books handy and read those at my leisure, but I, I don't have that right now. You need to understand something, that we are the people of the book. We are the people that Yahweh made the original covenants with. 
And unfortunately, there are spoilers among us, and we've allowed predators to exist among us. We allow them into the country, and they pretend they are sheep, but they are dragons. They're actually descendants of the bad one, the evil one. Or, well, one of the many evil ones, and that would be Gadriel, was the father of Cain. And so we're dealing with the descendants of Cain. Now, mind you, Gadriel was one of the five, five leaders of the fallen angels. <clears throat> and from what we can tell, there were 200 fallen angels on Mount Hermon that conspired against humanity. And so we have a lot more to deal with than just the mere Canaanites. And in case you're wondering, the roots are so entangled that you cannot point to a particular class or group of people, not readily, and say those are the bad guys. You can't hang it on them. Sorry, folks. If there's anyone to blame, it's us. If there's anyone responsible, it's us. If there's anyone that's going to take this planet back from the evil ones and save Mother Earth, it's us. The Earth groans for her saviors. Now, I'm, I'm going to ask you for prayers. I'm getting a few viewings. Pray that I can keep my head on straight and keep my mouth in order so I can persist on this platform. I don't plan upon monetizing the channel, but everybody talks about the money they get from it. I may end up doing that. I don't want to do that. I'd rather sell my Bibles. I also i have got a link to Navage. They're supposed to give me a discount on my supplies. I really do back that system. I think that the, uh, the transmission route for COVID is through the nasal passages. And if you're one of those poor, unfortunate souls that got COVID and you lost your sense of taste or your sense of smell, then you need to scramble all you can and learn how to get that out of your body. Because from what I can tell, it's a time bomb that'll be going off again here in the near future. The, uh, the bad guys, and it wasn't just the CCP, it was the bad guys in the United States of America. You know, Fauci and his ilk, and all those people that perpetuated those frauds upon you, including the one you worship. Oh, he's coming back all right. You're going to get stuck with him for president. And I don't understand how things are going to unfold at that point, because I think stopping the wars is a good idea don't you? Well, the problem is the Antichrist is the one that's supposed to stop those wars. Whoa! So I don't know how we resolve these things. This is a big philosophical issue for us who read the Bible. Yeah, we want the wars to stop. We know they're all banker wars. Yes, we know that. We know they're getting ready to kick off another war. We know that they're set up to take down, well, the stock market, swindle us. They do it through naked short selling, which means basically they never take and own the actual stocks that they're sell reselling or selling short. It, it shouldn't be allowed. It's a criminal practice, but our government is a corrupt government and they've institutionalized it. How do you think those senators get so damn wealthy on that? Well, I call it a modest salary compared to what they walk out of office with, millions. And then some of those guys, you know, they've got the war on drugs, it really is a war on people. I mean, some of those guys, like the former head of the Senate, former majority leader, one of his ships had how many kilos of heroin found on it? Oh, come on, folks. They're corrupt as hell in D.C., it is organized crime on a level you would not believe. It is so massive. I actually started reading before this. I was reading the book of Joshua. Now I switched to Judges. I like the book of Joshua. I like it quite a bit. It teaches the beginnings of military strategy which is still taught in the war colleges today. Do me a favor and pray for me that I can keep my head on straight and make proper videos for you. Do me a favor 
and ask for a blessing upon me. I would like my path paved a little bit more. It's pretty rocky right now. I'd like to be more functional and I would there's some big projects I'd love to get off the ground, but I don't know that I'm ever gonna have the money for those. I have so many irons in the fire right now. It seems like I'm fighting on all fronts. So if you pray for me, pray to Yahweh, Creator Father, Heavenly Father God. And you can do that if you if you want directly to him, because he is our father, as Yahshua directed us, and he is the one who saves. Yahshua puts us on the path, and I do believe he has the power through his word. He is the word, by the way. If you read this Bible properly, he's mentioned in the middle of the Trinity as the word. God is the son in that, by the way. Yes, I covered that already. I, I should put that, fold that page in half so I can turn to it immediately. It is in the New Testament, of course. We Israelites screwed up. Yahweh gave us a certificate of divorce. And we were never allowed to go back home to the promised land. The house of Judah, on the other hand, was never divorced. Yes, they went into the captivity. The captivity was theirs, and most of them returned. Several stayed behind, and that's why Iran today, which unbeknownst to you, 16% of Iran is Jewish. There are some problems with the Jewish texts that were written way after the fall of the temple. There are very evil things in there, and you need to be aware that they are being held somewhat captive by their own rabbis who keep telling them how they're persecuted for, and they're innocent, and they are not innocent, folks. Sorry, their hands are full of blood. They really are, but who am I to blame? Who are we to point the finger at them? You realize that the number of Americans that died on 9-11 which was the Messiah's birthday, 4 B.C. Over 3,000 Americans died that day. Do you realize that a little bit more than that die every day at the hands of the abortionists? And I know some of you are going to say, well, it's the, it's the, uh, the colored peoples, it's the mixed races, so what should we care? Well, the fact is that we're running this country in a way that doesn't help them. We're supposed to run this country in a way that helps everybody. In that, we're to be inclusive. We need to level the playing field. We need to get control of it again. I say we seal the borders up. We take D.C. captive. We elect proper officers. I would love to see Congress limited to middle-aged housewives of intact marriages with children. <clears throat> with no pay, and let the people of their regions donate money to their support, that's fine. Let their constituents donate money to support them, that's fine. There'll be no retirement, no no pay, no benefits for it. It was to be a, a volunteer program, and I dare say that, that you don't want to get mama bear riled, and the powers of war... <sighs> should be with the mothers because they don't want to send their kids out there to die. But I know this, the average housewife could manage our budget better than these jackasses in D.C. right now. Besides that, the jackasses in D.C. know the game. They know the fraud that they're perpetuating. They're partakers of it. And they're not telling you the truth about how, you, how you're captured and the frauds that have been perpetuated upon you. Almost nothing that you think you know is actually true or real. That holds for me as well. Most of us, well, none of us escapes the prevailing brainwashing in this culture. Not even Dr. Kent. Yes, I'm aware of it. It haunts me to realize that I think in the terms that they dictate to us, which means basically they dictate the outcome of our thinking to us, I'm also aware of the do weapons, the advanced psychotronic weapons they've been using for decades on us, that they actually can resonate different parts of the human body, 
to destroy it or activate it or to put in even the dreams in your mind that you think you have or even the words coming out of your mouth. They can manipulate you that far. And they can put the crazy ideas in there. And they can actually, I think, activate people to do mass shootings and stuff. I think a lot of that's been done by them. It may be pretty easy to blame it on the shooter, but the people in the background running these weapons on us, they're the real murderers, the real mass murderers. How many people have they sent out there to do that stuff? I don't know. All right, folks. My focus is to read the Bible, to not study evil. It says in the good book here, not to major in evil. Don't study it. I've done enough already in my life that was not optimal. Um, I hope I stay in the straight and narrow from now on. It's, it's easier at this age. That's true. But there's more regrets at this age. That's true as well. And as one becomes more introspective, it's depressing. But, I mean, I've learned to be grateful no matter what my circumstances, even in, in my humble house right now. You know, this is a... This is cozy. This is wonderful. It is uplifting. It is cheerful. There's good windows in it. Medium, uh, medium grade woods, if you will. They're not dark, depressing. Um, and it's cozy. Lots of glass, lots of windows, lots of light. So may Yahweh bless you. This should be number 48. I'm going to have to go check. I'm going, to be go, I'm going back up on the mountain today. I'm not going to be having this bandwidth. Videos are going to take a while to get uploaded. I'm not going to be able to use email or have access to the internet very much. Um, but I need to give myself a break and go spend time with my Bible in particular. This new version of the Bible is the best version of the Bible. There's no doubt about it. Um, will there be better versions of the Bible? Yes, yes, there will be. Don't worry about it. You can count on it. But this is it. The proper name version of the King James Bible. And if you take the link that I put down below, you're going to get the cheapest price on it anywhere. At least that's what the publisher tells me. And I haven't seen the prices go up. And I haven't sold many Bibles either. I understand we're all going through hard times. Um... I recommend you get a hard copy of the Bible because they can't change it on you. They can change the electronic versions on the fly. I don't think this is available in an electronic version. This was first copyrighted in 2015, and then the printing version of it was copyrighted in 2019, if I understand those laws and get that right. But get this Bible. My binding is still intact, so I haven't read it enough yet. It's starting to not just loosen up, but give way on me. And I've had this copy for probably three years. Uh, so I'm trying to push my way through it because there are vast, subtle differences. And I make fewer assumptions using this text compared to the original King James. Let's see if we can turn this nation into a bunch of Bible readers. It says in there, I'm going to make a new covenant with the same people with whom I made the old covenant. And there's going to be a day in which people won't say, know Yahweh. Why? Because everyone will know Yahweh. And we won't be preaching to each other to straighten up. We won't be calling upon that all that much because his law is etched upon our hearts. Not only that, he's taking out a heart of stone and giving you and I a heart of flesh. And that's actually more important than what you realize. It refers to the fact that you're wired up differently than the sociopaths. They don't have the rich nervous system that you and I have. They lack a proper nervous system with their gut and their head. And as such, they don't have good control over themselves. They don't have reins that they can pass on to Yeshua. They can't, they can't get the Holy Spirit. They can't have that blessing that you or I have. And I know you want to say, well, everybody can be saved. I'm sorry. It's not that way. And it's not up to you to choose either. 
You can't pick and choose who you're going to convert at all. All you can do is talk. Plant a seed. You have no idea if it'll take root or not. And you have no idea if it's going to be that day or it's going to be 20 years later. Which is why I don't mind having just a few subscribers. If you share this video, do share it with people that you've screened. Ask them if they're a believer. If they're not a believer, don't share it with them. Don't bother. If they claim they're a believer, ask them again. Check them out. See if they've actually read the scriptures. And only pass them up, this video on to those people who you really think have got it together and are believers. We don't need any liars and thieves in our midst. We certainly don't need any traitors. We definitely don't want any FBI agents. They're everywhere, folks. It used to be one out of every seven of us was employed by the auto industry. Today, my guess is that it's one out of every seven or, or more, like one out of every six or every five, are employed by your federal government. This is the biggest, best police state ever developed by man. Let's turn to Yahweh and his laws, because his burden is light. Yahweh bless.